Hi Facebook, my name's Christine. I'm the founder of The Conery. Uh, and you're inside our operation today seeing how we make cones. So we're actually going to show you how we make our most popular cone, which is birthday cake. Um, and we're going to take you through the process. So we wish you could smell what it smells like in here, uh, but you'll have to take our word on it that it's very good. <laughs> um, I always love, as soon as the birthday cake cones hit the machine, it gives this like fresh baked cake, uh, vanilla, spicy aroma. Uh, it's definitely one of the reasons these cones are so popular. They go with many different flavors of ice cream. Um, they are absolutely beautiful, as you'll see. Um, and they also taste amazing. So it's a home run. So you take a look in our batter. So we do put special ingredients in here to get it to really taste like birthday cake. It's not just sprinkles in there. Um, but all of our batters actually start with very similar ingredients and a similar base. Uh, we use flour, we use canola oil, cornstarch, salt, um, and sugar. That's really it. So they start with kind of natural, all wholesome ingredients. And we also offer gluten-free cones and we use gluten-free flour for that and naturally gluten-free ingredients. So you'll see right now, I'm kind of taking uh, a dollops of our batter, and coincidentally we use an ice cream scoop. Uh, and it looks almost like a pancake or a waffle batter. And it goes on our machine, and it goes around and cooks for a minute and 30 seconds, and it comes off and it looks like this. And <laughs> we put them into our rollers, and we hand roll our cones. So sometimes in the summer, we can make up to three or 4,000 birthday cake cones in one day. Uh, they are that popular. <laughs> so if you haven't had one yet, you have to find it. But um, yeah, it's certainly a fan favorite. And it was, it was actually one of the first cones I ever made. Um, and it's been with us since. It's been, you know, kind of our, one of our founding fathers, if you will. <laughs> Yeah, so as our cones come out of the holders, they're a little soft, but they're already starting to firm up as soon as they hit the air. So in about 10 seconds, they'll be fully cooled, um, and they'll go over to our packing area and get packed up and shipped out for you to eat. So yeah, we'll put some more batter on. So our machine that you see here was custom built for us. And something really special that we did was we changed our plates. Um, and as you can see on our cones, our cones don't look like kind of the cross hatch, the ordinary cone. It has this beautiful scallop pattern on it. And that's how you know it's a conery cone, the best cone. So <laughs> So we, on our website, we have a list of our partner shops, kind of all across the country. Uh, we have a lot in New York. I don't know where you're located, Tony. Um, but if they are not available by you, definitely recommend them to your local ice cream shops or food retailers, because we'd love to get into more stores and expand into your area. Um, but yeah, there's a list of stores on our website that says all of our partner locations. And a lot of our stores do have birthday cake, so no need to fear. Uh, Tia wants to know if you'll do the fortune cookie. Yes, we will make fortune cookies and, and show you how those are done. Uh, it's actually a, a funny story, I guess. Uh, we had a customer approach us, and you know, they loved our cones, but they said, well, we really don't have a ton of use for it. It's a hotel. Uh, they said, we really don't have a ton of use for There's something else you, you, know, you can make. Could you make fortune cookies? And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I have no idea how to make fortune cookies. Um, and then 
kind of little studying and practice, uh, I figured out that the, the machinery, the process is quite similar to how we make cones. It's just about forming it differently. Um, so months and months, oh, years later, I guess, we are now making full-fledged fortune cookie also. We make a fortune cookie operation as well. And I'll show you how those are done too. Yeah. We'll just get the rest of our birthday cake cones off. And I'll show you some fortune cookies, but I'll also show you red velvet fortune cookies. So, not just any fortune cookies. And we do customize the messages inside. Um, we could put fun stuff, uh, serious stuff, really anything that you'd like. We've seen some pretty interesting fortunes, so some we can't talk about on, you know, publicly, but. <laughs> So although the, although the process looks soothing and, you know, it, it can get very crazy here in the summer um, and we make a lot of cones and we make them all by hand. Um, so it really is a true artisan and, and true, truly a handmade product. So, yeah, one last look. Great. And I'll just grab our red velvet batter and I'll show you some fortune cookies. Yes, we do. So, set up our post here. Just move these over. Now we have some special forms to make fortune cookies. A um, little bit different than the cones. So we use a little bit of a smaller scoop. And what's really fun is just like our cones have the pattern um, on them, they're special patterns, so do our fortune cookies. So they really don't look anything like um, a fortune cookie that you've seen before or, you know, kind of the ones that you're used to getting. They might be a little sprinkly, but I hope you don't mind. Um, so our batter starts with uh, four or five very simple ingredients. So cornstarch, salt, canola oil, sugar, flour, water. And then from there, depending what we're making, uh, we'll add in cocoa powder or Saigon cinnamon or um, organic shredded coconut or, yeah, all different ingredients from there. And most of our cones do start with a similar batter. Um, our gluten-free, though, is different. Our gluten-free is um, a little bit different than the regular cones. Remember which one we started on. Great. So you'll see them start to come off here. <laughs> and it was not this smooth and nice when we started making these, I will tell you that. It was very difficult. <laughs> um, but we have these beautiful little fortune cookies. Yeah, so it's just about folding them um, and getting them to set in a nice kind of space so they come out nice and round and plump. So 
so we make quite a lot of fortune cookies too. <laughs> Could do a couple hundred of these an hour as well. Um, so this is for one of our customers, um, and a lot of our customers take advantage of the fact that they can fully customize the fortune. So this one says, let's find a funny one. You will be hungry again in an hour. <laughs> Put some more on. In case you missed it, we'll go another round. And another cool thing, we can make our fortune cookies in multiple flavors, um, in colors, in different varieties. So again, these are red velvet, uh, but I've made orange vanilla fortune cookies, five spice fortune cookies, sesame, matcha, um, blue corn. So same rules apply for our fortune cookies like our cones. And that's always fun for us is, um, you know, we make a lot of birthday cake, we make a lot of coconut, a lot of red velvets. It's always really fun uh, when a shop wants to do something really different or comes to us and kind of requests something custom or, you know, really outside of the box. We love getting fun requests like that. And if we could do it, we will. Ready for our next round? He's over. probably make these at home too if you found um, a fun recipe for fortune cookies which I'm sure maybe you could find online but all you really need is a circle um, and then you need to watch a few videos you can watch this video <laughs> and zoom in and rewind of how to fold them so you kind of hold the sides pinch them with your fingers and then it needs just a little bit of a push to give that nice kind of puffed pocket so I'll show you again so we hold them Pinch the sides, and then just give it a little puff so it has a nice round back. Um, when I first started making them, I used a cupcake tin to form them. So if you leave it like this, it'll open. So uh, a little pro tip is just get like a cupcake tin and put it in the cupcake tin, and it will it'll kind of form and hold like that. If you don't have this you know, the contraptions that we have here to make them on a large scale, you could kind of do them at home too. So again, hold the sides and give a little puff of air. There you go. Great. You can see as they dry, and then I'll open one for you. And there's our fortune. What's the fortune in that one? Let's see what it says. <laughs> Plan your work and work your plan. There you go. We'll open another and see if we can find a fun one. <laughs> if you refuse to accept anything but the best, you'll very often get it. There you go. That's a good one. So yeah, so we're fortune tellers also. We're cone makers, we're bowl makers, we're fortune tellers. We do it all here at the Conery. <laughs>
So we'll show you one last favorite treat. So something we love to do, obviously, is eat ice cream. Um, but one of my favorite combinations is putting like a nice vanilla bean ice cream into a birthday cake cone. Thank you. My ice cream. And then drizzle a little, well, it's about to get a little messy, but that's okay. Um, drizzle a little caramel on it. And then you have one of our favorite combinations, which is a birthday cake cone with vanilla bean ice cream and caramel. Approved.